Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. If you are tuning in for the first time, as you watch throughout the video, consider subscribing to the channel. For everyone else, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Today's like goal, 200 likes. Very aggressive like goal, but for a green day of 2,900 bucks, as you guys are seeing from the thumbnail, $2,992.78. These are gross gains minus about 60 bucks or so, I would say, for about 360 orders today. Guys, another incredible day in the market. Does not get any better than this. Day trading is back and in full swing. We have not seen this level of momentum since the GameStop boom, since AMC. So I'm grateful, as always, to be able to come into the markets and take away a little something off of wall street all right as we know these markets are merciless and so anytime i can come in and get out green it's always a good day and i am very glad and happy because i was able to be disciplined right so if you are looking forward to being disciplined and consistent be sure to check out mmu this is the day trading course that i have if you guys want to learn how to trade if you want to become a better trader and you want to practice under the guidance of Marcelo and myself, be sure to join the team. We have coupon code independence for 40% off in honor of 4th of July and Independence Day here in the States. Be sure to check out Merciless Markets University. These are the things that are included. Of course, you know, not to go through all of them, but yeah, those are the things that are included. Archives, one-on-one -on -one mentorships. Uh, and so forth. Live trading, low uh, live, low latency strategies, streaming. The I'm guys, I'm tired. All right, the classes itself and much much more. And of course, our uh, my beautiful partner here, Marcelo. Right, be sure to check out his YouTube channel as well, Mighty Stocks. Guys, Marcelo up ten thousand dollars yesterday, up eleven thousand dollars today. Absolutely incredible. All right. So be sure to check him out. Be sure to check him out. And let's jump into today's recap. All right. BDRX was the stock here today. Or let's say one of the stocks that we traded. This one was halted up a few times, pulled back and went higher. Started off with lighter volume from 485, pushed up to 527, halted, resumed higher at 585. From there, again, halted up and resumed even higher at 7.33 it dips to 6.60 and rips up into a halt at 8.06 absolutely incredible from there it, it, it opens it pulls back i believe it's halted down resumes lower and curls right back up for a red to green from a low of 6.88 to a high of 9.74 but i will say after it halted down it got very tricky here going back up as if almost like the market making was different you know it just just was not the same stock man uh but that's how it goes sometimes uh you know trading is hard but i was able to manage to get 380 bucks getting in for the pullback entry and rip on the resumption this is one of the trades that i will show today this is at 1241 uh so i'm gonna open up the archive and we're gonna try and pull this up here for you guys quickly 1241. Let's mute the audio. Let's enlarge. Let's see. I believe around this area here. So let's come back. There we go. So resumption is coming up. So initially I had 500 shares because I was a little skeptical, right? We had PFRX, one of our main leading stocks at the time, pulled back and halted down. So I was being careful here, only 500 shares, small size. You know, sometimes I'm thinking I'm trading maybe a little too small, right? Again, today's another day I could have been way more aggressive, could have easily used two, three times the size in every single trade I took and tripled, quadrupled my gains. But anyhow, as we resume... And, you know, to quickly go over the entry, I'll, I'll, I'll let it play one more time then. I know some of you guys complain when I, uh, when I pause the recording a little too much. You know, it rips up to 8. You know, we get a nice 20 cents in there. But anyhow, it's okay. Let's come back. So it resumes. 
we resume so we're halted up at 644 it resumes much higher right resumes much higher 733 here we go so between 730 and 750 resumption and from here it's going to absolutely rip and in in this case the stock didn't really dip down so this was an aggressive entry right it didn't really dip there's 30 on the bids 30 on the bids 29 on the bids it's not not dipping and it's about to go right here 43 you can see i try to place my order between 30 and 60. i'm gonna get a super high fill i'm filled all the way i'm still not filled this is how you know I got robbed right here. I'm not gonna. I got robbed right here. You know, blindly. Sixty six. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> it should have been. It should have even been better. But okay, I thought they filled me at eighty here. But let's see. So I'm in, and I get out on the bids. It looked like because I only made about twenty cents or so. Yeah. So this wasn't the best trade. If if the bids had got up to eight dollars. It would have been much better. We could have gotten plus 30 cents, but that's okay. Not not awful. We're halted up at eight, and that's how this one went. So after that resumption, I'm like, okay, we got to size up a little bit. It halts down, and on this resumption here, so let's watch this resumption. Actually, okay, we halt down, we open my memory. So the one-minute candle ends up making the new high. Which is over 740 at the time. Notice how, how big the spreads are here. Fair fill, getting filled in between the spreads because I could have easily gotten filled at 50 right there. And can we see the push through? 78. I tried to sell up into the halt, but the bids are already back down at 50. So I'm pretty sure we didn't get to maximize on that trade either. And now we're halted up again. On this resumption is where things got a little tricky. I sized up to 2k shares because I felt good about the stock at this point. Hold on, let's come back. There we go. Yeah, so we're, we're halted at 96. We resume at 880 and it rips. Can we get a pullback? Can we get a pullback? There's 63, 63, 60, 56, 52, 52. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you're just a little slow. And the moment I'm trying to buy between 50 and about 70, we're already back at 89 on the ask. Let's see where Relentless Trader gets filled. I bet it's at 890. Let's see. Jeez. 888. But, you know, it, it's like if I'm a millisecond faster, I'm in this at, fifth, let's say, between 50 and 70. And it's a supreme entry. Supreme. Instead, I'm in at 88. And the ask is at 42. But the bids are not quite pushing up. So I'm trying to sell here. I'm selling here assuming the stock is just going to keep going. And that the bids are going to catch up. And I'll be selling into the highs. Instead, I only make 10 cents. And this ends up being a high risk, low reward trade because it didn't go. It didn't work. We need to come out of here 50 cents, 1K profits. So, you know, there's the archives for today. And, and today was such an eventful day. Guys, if you want to see this entire video here and part two, because there's a part, actually part one rather. If you want to see part one and part two and how I was able to make 1900 600 on SOS, 1900 ELOX. You know, the Merciless Market students are, of course, able to see the entire video. They have access to, the, to all the footage. So again, if you want to see the behind the scenes, be sure to check it out. Code independence for 40% off. Moving on, BTTX, small loss, 25 bucks, scratch trade. ELOX and look at this one here in after hours, right? Some people are probably still trading. ELOX, boy, was this a tricky stock for me. So earlier on in the day, I, I just could not capitalize on anything. So choppy. I, I was green, red, green, red. This thing pulled back and curled up over 589. 
as it broke high of day, I was watching it, and throughout this entirety of this range, was able to make nothing. Zero dollars. But when we got to 1040, and it started to hold up above the 200 EMA at 750, this is essentially where I was able to make the money, between this candle at 36 and the high of 48. So in 12 minutes, in 12 minutes, I was able to make about $2,000, or let's say at least like $1,500, right, on this stock, $1,400, somewhere there. Just could not connect in this area, man. I, I just could not connect with the price action. You know, I needed to be in low holding longer, but I wasn't able to do that. So we had a quick flag. We held up the 200 EMA. We made new highs over 812, pushed up to 64, 76, 910, then 988. GDTC, strong stock yesterday in after hours, you know, pushed up from lows of 350 to highs of 989, you know, about 200%, pulled back to about 588, pre-market, jumped up again, pulled back, and then jumped up to a high of 1066. So it was pulling back into the open, and I was watching to see if we could get a curl back up to the upside, but boy, was this stock hard to trade and tricky. You know, and, and here's the reason why. We want limited downside risk, high upside potential. In this area, in this chop, the downside potential was equal or even greater than the upside risk. And I only trade with a 50% accuracy. So what that means is that if the stock isn't strong to one side, I'll be chopping around or red in the trade on the stock. So... You know, green, red, green, red, green, red, until I just have to say, you know what, enough is enough, let's leave it alone. And we were able to avoid this big drop off. PWM. PWM broke over the highs of 28.77 and then 30.92, but wasn't able to continue. So after it got up here, it kind of sold off. Uh, the last stock that we didn't trade was this one here which you know was the strongest stock of the day really prfx and i'm probably missing another like two three k on this stock you know even with small size you know initially i'm so caught up in the live stream and just trading the stocks that were there we had so many watch list stocks today that i was missing this thing and let's watch it oh well, my e-trade is closed i was gonna say let's watch it on e-trade but anyhow it just kept going it just kept going i saw it here at 14 and didn't get an entry because i think it was immediately halted up again and i'm like man this is tricky it it opens it gives the pullback and rips but it was not easy the spreads were very tricky in this area man so it ripped up without me and then after that the third resumption i'm like, not going to touch it it goes up again 20 34 and then again 23 10 and then again 26 40 but if you chased this stock and bought it into this halt going up, you got obliterated. And it's a reminder why we should never give into FOMO. Because when a stock is going like this, the thought is how far is it going to go? That's that's the question, right? That's the question. How far is it going to go? Is it going to go to 25? You know, that was 14, right? Is it going to go to 20? Maybe 18? Or maybe 25? And when it, when it does get to 25, you start thinking, man, 30, 40? Like, how far is it going to go? You just don't know. You don't know. We've seen some go all the way to 50. We've seen some go all the way to 100. We've seen a few go all the way to 150. One even went to, like, 5,000 or, or 2,500. What's that, HKD? HKD went all the way, and we can pull that one up quickly. HKD. This, yeah, this one went all the way to 2,500. It just ma I mean, just madness, right? So the question is, how far is it going to go? And you, if you get involved, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to get involved early. Um, you have to just risk something you're comfortable losing. Don't get in, and then if if it goes against you, you get upset and you get emotional. For example, if you did buy it here because you thought it was going to go to forty, I I'll say fair point. Because maybe the next one does go to 40. And in hindsight, when you look back in time, man, 26 would have been a great entry despite it being up so high at the time, in the moment. Because it got to 40, it got to 50, it got to 2,500. 
But if you buy here and it does this, you cannot be upset. You just have to take the loss, smile, move forward. And, you know, some people probably did get caught. It, it, it's just part of the deal. It's just, it's, it's not a problem. You just live to fight another day. The main thing is to not average down right here and hope and pray because if, 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 if you average down throughout this move and you need high of day again to be flat, or maybe not high of day, but still, like, you know, if you don't get the bounce you need, you're at the mercies of the sea. And these markets are merciless. So stay focused, stay relentless, stay disciplined. And, you know, in doing so, you can stand a chance. It's not guaranteed for anybody. But if I'm doing it and I'm an average person, people out there can do it too. All right. So there is hope, but know that it's not easy. It's hard. It's not guaranteed. You got to work every day. You got to improve every day. You got to be consistent. You got to be disciplined with yourself. You have to have mastery over your emotions. All right. So PRFX, the stock that I missed out a nice 2, 3K on to potentially double my day. But tomorrow... I'll be back again and it'll be another beautiful day. I expect myself to be disciplined, no less. And we'll have fun as always. And I'll see you guys then. All right. Stay safe, stay green. Just a quick recap to go over. I mean, if I really do a full recap, I'd be here for an hour. Uh, so just, you know, quick overview, brushing over the topics and the stocks. Stay safe, stay green. Hit that thumbs up one last time if you have not already. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. sharp for another beautiful live stream. It's been Relentless Trader, your favorite YouTuber, and I am signing out.